Hello, I'm Pete Gerlach. Uh, I've been a professional family systems therapist for 31 years, and I've been on the planet for 73 years, watching, studying, observing. I want to offer you in this brief video some ideas that I've gathered over the years about families who keep secrets. Do you know any such families? Is yours one? Are there people in your family of whatever generation who keep secrets? Um, stop and think, what is a secret? How would you define a secret? If a seven-year-old says, what, what is a secret? They may already know. A secret in this context is information about someone or some event that is withheld either unconsciously or consciously. It's a truth that is not told. It is a subject that's not spoken about. That's what I mean by family secret. Relative to some ancestor or current family member, adult or child, some trait of theirs, like addiction, some event perhaps, like crime, rape, abortion, divorce, desertion, things that are judged by someone as shameful. Um, people may keep secrets intentionally. There may be someone in the family who sternly says, we don't talk about that. That's active family secret keeping. The other and more pernicious type of secret keeping occurs unconsciously where there are simply aspects of a family's history or a person's history or someone's traits like mental illness that people simply don't talk about. No one asks questions about them. No one offers information about them. It's just uh, a black hole in the family's fabric of history. So there are two types of family secrets. Some are simply passed on by tradition where younger members of the family accept that we don't talk about X and never question it. They don't think about it. They're not conscious of it. They're not particularly bothered by it, perhaps, but it's unconscious. Other people are more active about chastising family members for speaking about someone or something. So, so what? What's wrong with family secrets in case your family has some? Is, or is this bad? Is there something wrong with keeping family secrets? I propose that in some circumstances the answer is yes. People keep secrets unconsciously or consciously because they're afraid of something, they feel guilty about something, or they're ashamed of something. Those three indicators often suggest significant psychological wounds, one of which is excessive shame, another of which is excessive fear. So what I'm saying is, if your family keeps, quote, significant, unquote, secrets, that's a subjective judgment. It's apt to indicate that some members of your past or present family, dead or living, inherited psychological wounds from their ancestors and ignorance that goes along with the wounds. My nonprofit website, the Break the Cycle website, is dedicated to shining a light on this universal stressor in our culture, the American culture, perhaps other cultures, of psychological wounds that gets passed down the generations. There are six of them. If you can't name them, you're at risk of inheriting them. Psychological wounds and ignorance. Family secrets, if they're excessive, or if there is a lot of punitive behavior around breaking them 
if someone breaks the silence and talks about the forbidden subject, if the talker, if the secret breaker, is subject to scorn or punishment or ridicule or even rejection, that, in my professional opinion as a family therapist, is a, almost a certain sign. This is a low nurturance family ruled by people with significant psychological wounds and ignorance. You might shrug and say, oh well, that's the way it is. Yes, and if you are an advocate like I am, for vulnerable young children being raised in a family by adults who are psychologically wounded and ignorant. They are at risk of inheriting the wounds which pass right down the generations until somebody stops them. So here's my point. If there's some subject or person or event in your family that by common understanding or tradition or overt family rules you don't talk about. Be aware that the young people in your family, those who are born and even unborn, are at some degree of risk for inheriting serious psychological wounds. These wounds have major toxic effects on people's lives and on family welfare. If you want to find out more about these wounds, what causes them, what they mean, and what to do about them, I encourage you to study the YouTube videos that have to do with Lesson 1 on my nonprofit website, which is located at sfhelp.org. Otherwise, I hope you'll just weave what I've just uh, passed on to you along into the information on families in general, uh, which you'll also find other videos on on YouTube. I hope you find this thought-provoking in a non-threatening way, and take a look at whether your family overtly or covertly keeps family secrets and think about what that means and talk about that openly with your other family members. See what happens. Thanks for watching.